Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to Construction Simulator 2. We are still building the uh, the shopping mall, and unfortunately, I don't actually know yet where the dealership is, or the not the, de the dealership, sorry, the, the parts merchant, the builder suppliers are here. So let's open up the map and see if we can figure it out. Uh, what is this area over here? Is that a stadium? Looks like that might be a baseball stadium, perhaps. Uh, we've got an area down here. I get that the feeling that might be the supply yard. We haven't tagged that yet. So let's head down there and see if that's where we need to be. So I need to go this way. Did you change on me lights? Thank you. Let's go drive in here and have a look at this area. Is that curiosity? It is a stadium of sorts. Is it baseball? Yeah, that's baseball. Okay. The sh the uh, sh <laughs> the Sunny Hill Sluggers. I was going to say Sugar Hill Sluggers for some reason there. I don't know why. Uh, Sunny Hill Sluggers is the name of the baseball team. So I think this coming up here is our builders' merchants. A place with boom written on it. little uh, gated area over there. Where is the actual entrance? It'll be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's a pickup zone. Yeah, there we go. Building material supplier. This is what we were looking for. And there's our supply pickup point around the other side of the building. Uh, and there's another entrance around there as well. Okay, that's good. Makes sense. So we'll head to the pickup zone. There we go. And let's order what we need for the job. So, uh... Task only, complete job. It's given me nothing at all. Oh, I've got to find the steelworks, not the builders' merchants. Um, set my waypoint at the place of origin, please. There we go. So uh, that looks like the steel works the other side of the road there. Steel and concrete. Ah, yes, there we go. There we are at the steel works. So there's our collection point by the look of it. So into the steel works. Uh, so, uh, that's everything. For the task only, for the complete job, it, well, it's exactly the same. It's just these canal elements. So, we want four of those. There is a discount as well. A 20% discount, which is nice. 10% for skill, 10% for, um, for perks, by the look of it. And we'll take that to go. Big, aren't they? Bigger than I was expecting. Right, let's uh, go into function mode. Open up the arm, spin it around. One thing I am seriously considering as well is to actually buy uh, a bigger delivery truck. Oh, this thing really does open up a long way, doesn't it? Wrong hook class. I need a bigger crane. Oh, okay. So I can't use this. 
Right, um, to the store. I need something with a bigger crane. Um, I saw something, there we go, that's what I'm thinking of. The Kenworth tractor with crane I think might be what we need for this job. And then we'll need a, a flatbed to hook up behind it. I think that's what we're going to need to do. Or we could use the mobile crane. That would do the job. Hmm. Let me try. Let me reset the vehicle. Let me see if I can actually load the concrete onto the back of that. Uh, so, uh, vehicle select. Where's my mobile crane? It must be in the in the vehicle hall. Let's go to motor pool. There it is. Yeah, it's in the hall. Retrieve. Confirm. See, we've got a few vehicles that are in need of repair. I'm going to have to send those back at some point, probably after this job. There we go, there's our mobile crane. Will our flatbed truck support the weight of those concrete pipes? That is the big question. I guess we'll find out. lights. I forgot how, just how uh, turny this thing is as well. With that rear wheel steering. That's not really a word, is it, turny? <laughs> how sharp the steering is. Probably a better way to describe it. Responsive. You're so used to, you know, the larger vehicles being, uh, you know, slower to turn, a bit more sluggish. This thing just, you know, ridiculously nimble okay so uh, function mode oh no that was reset alright I need to reposition <laughs> I want to turn around as well perfect Function mode. There we go. Let's use a hook camera. Okay, so I can definitely pick them up with this. That was expected. It's just whether or not I can actually get these loaded on the flatbed. That's what I'm not sure about. Just going to have to get a bit more height. Oh, wow. Yeah, they take up the whole thing. I think next time I'll get these delivered straight to site. Or we could, as I say, invest in a, a flatbed, a longer flatbed trailer and get a, like a, a tractor truck to pull it. There we go. So we uh, switch to our flatbed. Let's get in. Actually, secure the load first of all. I just see a coin. I did. All right, we'll tag that on the way out. Ah. Oh. Get in the right vehicle. There we go. Right, load is always secured. You can see it's strapped down there. We're going to head out this way, and we're going to tag that coin on the way out. There it is. Metal. Sorry, not coin. 
was 17. Still a lot more to find. Right, uh, off to the job site. And then we'll whiz back, we'll get the other two elements. Come on, lights. Change, 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 change. And when we've got all four points there, well, actually, I might have to unload these off the truck using our fast directing crane, which means we may as well load them straight into the job site, if that's the case. Couldn't quite get through that one. That's a red light. I'm going to run that one too. Nope. Just not paying attention to the traffic lights for a second then. It's a long trip, isn't it? I think, yeah, going forward, when we're going to have elements that are this big, that we're going to have to move around to the sites, we're going to need a bigger trailer to load them onto. So we're going to need uh, to get a tractor truck like a Kenworth or uh, a Western Star, maybe. I know that's not the actual entrance, but I'm going to use it. Our way down here. Oh, don't get stuck. Oh, come on. Completely wedged. Oh, that's ridiculous. Ah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to reset the vehicle. At least it resets it out here. You know what? We don't need to go all the way down there, do we? We just need to <laughs> shove the car out of the way. We just need to pull up near the crane, and then the crane can swing around and, and take them off the truck. There we go. So, uh, let's unsecure the load. Let's get into our crane. There we go. Let's put the hook camera on. Swing the crane around. There we go. it round even though we don't technically need to I want to see if I can actually place these properly or reasonably properly that's close enough there we go Get the second one off the back and then repeat the process. Rotate it round so it doesn't get stuck on the edges. There we go. Just reset that round. Figure it a bit quicker than spinning it around manually. There we go. Uh, now we need to get back into our uh, flatbed. 
return so that we can go and collect the other two concrete pipes. I'd like to use the entrance to this area for the first time, <laughs> as opposed to cutting across the pathway like that. Where well, that way we're supposed to. See, I'm going to get caught at all these lights on the way back now, aren't I? Slowly creep up on the lights, wait, waiting for them to change. There we go. through here actually try and get away from all those traffic lights hopefully there's the builders merchants which means we need to go across the other side of the road yeah cutting through is definitely the right way to go isn't it so few lights in comparison beat the cabbie <laughs> <laughs> there we go, get back into position. So, let's uh, back on the hook camera. Load that one up. There we go. Excellent stuff. So, uh, well, it looks like you can manually toggle each individual load there. <clears throat> Flatbed, that's what I want. Let's get in there, secure the load, and off we go. So, we want to go straight over. Start cutting our way through these side streets. You watch these changes as I pull up. Nope, we got through. That's good. Cut through again. Ah, those ones have changed. Let's cut through. <laughs> Let's cut through the garage. Because by the time we get here, those lights should be about ready to change. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Use the proper entrance, now that we know where it is. Park up. Excellent stuff. So, into the crane. Back on the hook camera. I need 
need to unsecure the load. There we go. Because I forgot. There we go. I wonder what the next stage is going to be after this job, because we're almost done with this, this stage here. Too high above ground. Lower it down a bit more. There we go. One last piece of canal to place. Rotate it so it fits. Excellent. That's complete. What's next? Fill in the highlighted area. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we could bulldoze that earth in there. We could. But I'd rather do it with the excavator. I th uh, you know what? Let's reset that. I'm gonna try it with the excavator, uh, with the uh, with the dozer. Spin that around. Ignore the "you cannot drive this in this area" warning, because we know that it lies to us. This will also give us the chance to perhaps tidy up the bottom of the ramp a little bit. We made a little bit of a mess at the entrance way. There we go. Lower that down a bit. Push that forward to try and smooth things out. We can just get a nice clear entrance path just here. And that little lip won't be a major issue. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, let's try using our dozer for this job. So, just lower the arm down a bit. Down a little bit more. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that. Down just a touch more. Oh yeah, that is strangely satisfying. <laughs> so 
Very strange squelching noise I can hear. Again, weird, weird random sound effect. I suppose it's supposed to signify mud. Got some weird visuals going on in the background where that van keep popping in and out. Not quite sure what's causing that. I'm so glad I decided to use the dozer for this job rather than the excavator. That would take so much longer and wouldn't give us as anywhere near as smooth and clean a coverage as this. and then some of this leftover uh, uh, dirt that we've got we can potentially push forward to other areas where we need to fill the trench a bit better. We just lost our lights. Go check it out. Awesome stuff. And we got a really good pavement for that. Uh, pour concrete into the prepared elements. Oh, it's around the base there, so that's the foundation work. Okay, well, we have our brand new concrete uh, pipe system. Our, uh, Looking forward to using that. I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, let's see. I want to go back to the store for a second because I want to see if the uh, the other cement mixer is of a larger capacity than the one we currently have. Uh, let's have a look. Again, uh, I forget who gave me the shout out for this. Uh, but you can actually scroll down with the right stick to see extra details like that. So you can see capacity and price and everything like that and horsepower and stuff. Um, so yeah, these are the same price look, but the, the Kenworth is a larger cement mixer. So we're going to get rid of our cat mixer. And we're going to replace it with a Kenworth. It has uh, an extra 3 meter, cubic meters capacity for essentially the same price, you know. So, uh, we want to go to our motor pool. Where is our concrete mixer? There it is. Uh, retrieve from hall. Jump to it. And I want to sell this. So a quick sell option. Actually, I might have been able to do that in the store. Now that I've unlocked it. Yes. There we go. So I can sell it now. Uh, we'll get 100 grand back, which isn't too bad. And we're going to replace it with this. The Kenworth T880. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Purchase. And we'll go fill this up at the steelworks because that should allow us to do concrete as well there is our man uh, a mac truck which is the concrete pipe 
we need to take that over to the dig site as well. So we'll haul this down the road. Uh, and we need... Am I going the right way? Yes. I am. In a roundabout kind of way. I thought it was. Now I'm not so sure. Oh, wait. Oh, I am going the right way. I've just, I'm not far round enough. Okay, got a little bit lost for a second there. There's our, uh... Oh, wait, that's our, that's our cement truck. What's going on with this camera? Pull in here for a second. Are oh, the dig site, the job sites over here? Look. So I am way off. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, let's just uh, skip the drive. There we go. Uh, I want to go back to my brand new cement truck. We're going to take, as I say, take this over to the steel mill. dump truck parked around the back there. I might get rid of that in a moment. Although I still kind of need something like that for roadworks. So I might hang on to it. Ah, <laughs> damn light's got me. We'll figure out where the concrete, cell, uh, concrete pickup point is at the steel mill. And then we'll get that back to the construction site. And in the next episode we'll actually start unloading concrete into our pipe system because the storage capacity on that is terrible so you kind of need to have a vehicle like this you know a cement mixer on hand with a large supply to keep topping it up if you just try and go on the tiny little tank inside the cement mix at uh, the, the concrete pump it's just going to run out pretty much instantly and take you an eternity to keep you know emptying it so you, you set this up so that it'll unload and just keep unloading into your concrete pipe. As soon as there's uh, space, it adds a bit more. Makes it much, much easier. The concrete pipe is another one of those bits of equipment that's quite tricky to get used to uh, moving the arm around. But uh, again, with practice, I think we'll actually get quite good with that. Uh, we're going to need to use it a lot going forward, I can see. Simply because, you know, we're going to have a lot of concrete to do on a lot of these jobs. So, where is the concrete pickup point? Set on the outside, concrete and steel. And I'm just seeing steel. Hey, look, see, steel and concrete. Although the and concrete is greyed out. I wonder if that's to signify that we can't get concrete yet. Maybe it's around the corner. Maybe that's the concrete. Looks like another business. Yeah, that's another concrete pickup point. Hmm. I'll play around with this. I'll see if I can figure it out. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll point it out to you when we come back. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with another episode of Construction Simulator 2 very soon. <laughs>